And we're back with some more Flat Eye. I had to come back to this game because this game is pretty intriguing and I want to know what else is going to happen. Like, what's more, right? There, there's always more and I, I want to see more. So, yeah, so we're back with some more Flat Eye. Uh, it's World Consumer Rights Week. Carpe diem, as the sun is at its zenith, there are plenty of opportunities around you. A light in the dark. This is what a parent should be. Are you a good parent? Think through before giving your answer. And buy sugar and flour to make delicious cookies. My life all about you. Flatbook here. We have another thing from Flatbook. This is from Emily. Emily came back to have a little coffee in which uh, she added a lot of substance. She left, but uh, we should analyze what she drank. Basically, they want us to take uh, samples of, I guess, her her urine uh, because we saw she put stuff in a coffee machine that we were like, what? are you doing right so you should install a toilet smart which is uh we already have that we have a couple of those already there's a lot of documents uh whether or not with notices and things like that uh, so notice for the cozy drinks is now available we developed our hot drinks as for the coffee module in record time probably because of all the coffee made us jittery you'll notice uh the tomato soup option we added it after conducting a survey of iLife clients 79 percent indicated a hot beverage machine without a tomato soup option was a sign of poor quality Human nature. What can I tell you? Very well. Uh, <laughs> there's some awesome... There's like transcript I can't get into. I don't know why, but that is what it is. And then back with Ryan Rosewater. Ryan Rosewater, uh, we kind of read this towards the end of the stream that we did uh, for uh, Flat Eye, which if you did not know and you did not catch that and you are interested in this game, I'll leave a link down in the comment section below and you can uh, check out the first two hours of us playing the game. But... Basically, towards the end, uh, we found out that uh, uh, Ryan Rosewater is uh, falling in love with the AI that he has built because he built it to tailor to around his likings, so to speak, right? Uh, tech tree wise, do we have anything in the tech tree? Um, we have one skill point that we can actually use. I'm going to save the skill point until further notice, and then let's go ahead and get into the next day. Our terror cards, uh, two mandatory cards, and then one for double or nothing if you feel comfortable with the two mandatory cards. But let's go with that one. That is electric cars. Have modules for stations category used 15 times. Uh, station category used 15 times from station. Okay, very well. And then the Hierophant. Install two items in the station. Shouldn't be too hard. I will not double down and I will just start my day the way it is. My luck, I'll get something like my double down card will be, uh, you know, like don't let people leave your station, which it happens. It definitely does happen because it gets a little spicy and a little bit. Uh, a lot of people come to hang out and a lot of people like <laughs> tend to shop here. So yeah, there's that. Let's go ahead and pause time real quick and see. So uh, let's do install two items into your station. We have plenty, plenty, and plenty of money. But the time do we have? That's the real question. Station. Let's see here. Uh, small shelf. Yeah, I guess we can install two more shelves if we really, really, really wanted to. Uh, where would they go? Uh, good question. Uh, great question, actually. I put it like right here. Would that block anything else? I think that would. It's a very tight corner there. Um, I mean, I could go this way with it. I mean, I really could. I could go this way with it and start putting stuff over here, which, you know what? Let's do it. Let's put it as close as we can to the back room here. I want to really, really, really get another employee, if that is possible. I I would have to assume it is, because this game is going to get bigger and bigger as we go, right? So there we go. We'll do that. We'll end that. We'll end that. And then the first thing we will do is we will build that, build that. There we go, perfect. And then after, we will then uh, refill that, and then refill uh, this. Yes, the vending machine. Very important there. Okay, let's go in and uh, fast forward time here. There we are. Somebody at the cash register. That's all right, so there we go. We've built two, installed two items in the station. I guess maybe that is not considered items in the station. I did do a uh, station. Maybe they really want like, like a decoration item. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Duh, right there. It says items. Switch items. Yes. Okay. That, all right. Easy enough. <laughs> easy enough. Very well. I see. Uh, is there anything cool that we can add? Like some nice uh, plants or anything like that inside? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Well, let's add maybe another trash bin. 
preferably the one that we already have to match the others, which was this one. We'll do this, and we will put this right here at this door. There's one. And then let's see what we can do over here. Maybe, just maybe, we can uh, give off a good little plant vibe somewhere. Like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, down the hallway, down the corridor. Cool, can I do another one of that, please? It's a good thing we don't have to worry about watering the plants in this game. <laughs> I don't think we do. Yeah, let's do some plants down here. Hopefully that that's not too, too busy, but, I mean, that does look pretty busy. Regardless, though, we have it in. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and refill what we need to refill. We'll run the uh, uh, cash register here in a bit. But, yeah, that, that looks god-awful. Oh, very disappointed in myself on that. Very disappointed. Let's, let's move that out of the way, please, and thank you. That's just a terrible corridor. Flat out. There we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. All right. I'm sorry. I know. I will get there here in a bit. I'm currently uh, refilling, and I really desperately need to refill the... Um, yeah, the uh, vending machine for sure. So we'll get that rolling. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's start making some money, shall we? Other things need to be refilled, obviously, and we will put those on the queue right now. There we are. As soon as he's done doing that, yeah. A lot, a lot, a lot. There will be a premium customer coming in today, and we will probably most likely uh, talk to them and see what the dealio is all about. Get back on the crash re cash register. Crash register. Cash register. Oh, dang it, this vending machine's now uh, not filled. It will do this as well. Fill those up. There we go. And there we go. All right, back on the register. Very good. All right. What do we have here? Something happened? No, okay, no. 15 uh, times. Okay, station use 15 times. Good. We completed our two tarot cards today. That's good. That's wonderful. And uh, I guess, like... Our toilet smart's doing fine. That is just need to be refilled. We'll have to do that here in a bit. Not really worried about it right now. I want to really get this new, like, this smart cash register thing. I think that's, like, the next thing I'm, I'm looking forward to. I think that... what? How much is that, though? I think it costs a bit. It is... Yeah, this one. It costs two points. Yeah, two points. Maybe that will help us. I don't know if that's going to be, like, kind of like a self-out... A self-checkout thing. You would think now, in, in a world like this, they would have, like self-checkout. Whoa, is this a new character? I do not remember this guy. Oh, the coffee machine needs a little bit of refilling, too, or something, right? No, not that. Don't do that. Right here. Repair. Get off the register. Time to talk to our premium customer, please, and thank you. Okay, let's see what we have here, story-wise. Uh, yeah, I don't think... I don't remember this guy. This is Jim. Yeah, this is definitely someone new. He's a Libre. He's age 55. He's soft-spoken and quiet. This man followed the other U.S. citizens after the cataclysmic events three years ago. This topic is about food. That's fine. Welcome. Is there anything I can do for you today? Well, now there's that customer service for the adverts are always going on about. There it is. Listen, kid, I've been meaning to come down here for quite a while. This here station is the talk of the town, after all. When did you open? Uh, fairly recently, sir. I have to say, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, well, thank you. On behalf of iLife, we're so pleased to hear that. Mr. Bryant Jim Bryant. Okay, Bryant Jim Bryant. Got it. Retired these days, but certainly alive as ever. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Bryant. What is happening here? How may I be assistance of you to, for you today, Mr. Bryant? Well, the fact you're here speaking with me at all is plenty, kid. I guess the one thing that could make this day better is a cup of joe. Say, so you got one of them old machines you can point me towards, yeah? Of course. Our wonderful cozy drinks module is right over there. Well, I'll be damned. Must have walked right by it. Kid, keep me a secret, would you? Yes. Sure. The wife doesn't like me indulging in caffeine much anymore. Says it keeps me and, and her up late. This whole conversation stays between us. Deal? Uh, uh, absolutely, Mr. Bryant. This clerk appears to be particularly service-minded. Ah. That's good. That's like, you know, service-minded for a clerk. Practicing the script diligently? Very good. 
It's like the first time we got like a, uh, a a compliment on our clerk. I'm sure the customers will like them a lot. Oh, okay. You know you've got employee of the month written all over you, right? Oh, thank you. That's a clerk. I mean, for anything, this conversation brought up that, that we have a great clerk. Maybe we give them a raise. <laughs> what the what 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 just happened? Is there an issue? I'll check the logs and you keep an eye out for that gentleman. Very well. And interesting. What is up with the coffee machine? Is why is everyone obsessed with it? Uh, yeah, fix that up, please, and thank you. Refill that so we don't have to do that in the morning. And then uh, jump on the cash register when you're done doing that. Uh, ooh, actually, you know what? Don't jump on the cash register. Fix this pump, please and thank you. Fix that I-Core as well. Fix this pump outside. Fix this pump also. There's a lot of pumps that we need out there doing. There we go. Fix that up. Now, this is actually a clerk who is quick at uh, repairing stuff. A little bit of that. Please repair that. And repair that. Yep. So it's not like this is a clerk. That, I don't think this is a clerk that has charisma. This is definitely a clerk that has straight up uh, repair. Faster repair. And, I mean, you can see it for yourself. I mean, they are definitely popping through this fast. All of our repairs. Call the ambulance. Uh-oh. Did something happen? I just got an achievement. said... Uh, call the ambulance. Ambulance. The day ended early because your clerk was injured and ended up in the hospital. Because there was an unforeseen accident in the station, you need to pay your clerk hospitalization fees. It will cost you $500. If you can't pay the hospital fee, your clerk will resign. We can pay it. No, we're fine. We, we can pay it. That's, that's not much. Overall, we did have some people leave. Uh, a lot of people left, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. But we, have, we should be ranked 8, right? Now, this should take us to rank 8. There we go. Rank 8. Desktop customization elements. 6 birch uh, conversation and 2 new tech points. Cool. We are a junior manager. That's pretty cool to see. And we met Jim. Uh, so let's end the day there. Cool. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Let's. First of all, I'm really curious about the customization because I like that the most. <laughs> I do. I'm a, I'm a sucker for love there. Uh, your station rent. Oh, it's time to pay the rent. Oh, easy enough. Pay the rent. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the customization first because that's easy and fast and we can get that going. Uh, this is a theme. What the frick is that? Thumbs up. Very well. <laughs> what is this? Also very well. This. Double very well. Okay, so out of all of them, I guess I like that one probably. Then avatars, new avatars. Um, looks like we have, like, some sort of, like, horses. Looks like we have, like, a maple leaf. Somebody with some awesome colorful hair. And, like, what looks to be kind of like a cherry blossom sort of thing going on. No, maybe not. I'm gonna go for that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Alright. Uh, Documents-wise, transcripts, still the same thing, right? But, we have something in our flat book by Jim, and that was our activity. Uh, Jim visited your station. You don't really know what happened, actually, but the customer will visit again. Cool. Uh, the future awaits now. Uh, do, 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 where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It was flat hive. Yes, I can't give this person a raise. Why not? Interesting. This is cool. Uh, well, this is not cool. Access denied. Sorry, you don't have access to the training center for now. Please reach rank sixteen. Before it was reach rank 8 and now it's 16 I don't know what the heck happened there but it was 8 before last time I played I guess we'll move on tarot cards we're getting today is the hero font install two items in your station easy and the time uh, have less than 10 customers leave the station F dude that's not gonna happen there's gonna be 10 people that are gonna leave the station 100% maybe I don't know I did repair a lot of stuff at, at the end of the last day and most of our stuff is refilled as far as, like, um, uh, stock and stuff on the shelves. So, we'll have to see. But I'm not good at the time thing. At least with one freaking employee. Let's pause it real quick. We will repair this. We will repair that. We will repair this. We will repair that. And then that will be next. 
Make it go fast. Okay. Prepare that next. If we get into an accident, right? If we get into an accident right off the bat and we have to, like, shut the store down, that would be terrible. And then after that, you go into this. So we've already missed two customers, four customers already. There we go. All right, let's hopefully, let's not have to worry about that. Now, I will let these shelves, if the shelves start to go dry, I know there's an empty shelf right here, but if the shelves start to go dry, I think I will just let it be. Um, and let's look into tech tree here. So the tech tree, we should have three. Let's get this cash smart. Brilliantly reinvented cash register. Let's get that going, shall we? That sounds pretty good to me. We still have one left, so we can buy a large, if we wanted to, a large shelf. Uh, which, you know what, since we have it, yeah, let's go ahead and build the large shelf. Buy the large shelf. Get the large shelf. Uh, that shall be good. Let's go ahead and look into Cash Smart. Cash Smart. Let's see here. Hopefully this is a self-checkout thing. We'll have a manual checkout next to a self-checkout. Put it like right there. We'll build that. And then a uh, large shelf. I guess we can start trying putting, trying to put large shelves out on this side. There we go. Now, wait a sec. Large shelves, those don't count as items. So we still need to put in two items here. Uh, portion? No, we don't need to put a portion. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go with... I guess we can put boxes back here. You know, you know what? No, hang on a sec. Yeah, you know what? We'll we'll put a desk about back here. Yeah, how about that? Put a desk right there. That looks pretty good. Maybe put some boxes just for the look of it, right? I mean, after all, we have this chair just sitting here. Might as well like kind of like make it look nice back here. There we go. So we've at least completed that. Um, and then we shall build this immediately. So let's do that right now. And then after we build that, we'll go right back here into the register. Okay. So let's see here. Let's add this to the power grid. We want this to go there. Should be fine. There we go. Cash Smart is now officially installed. Looks like they do run over here. And it is a self-checkout thing. Oh, wonderful. This is going to help us out uh, greatly. We might put like a bunch of self-checkouts and get rid of just this one. Yeah. I mean, there's not really a point to have having us now work the register when they can do it themselves, right? And we can worry about everything else around. You know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get rid of this, shall we? Let's get rid of that. Get the self-checkout and do that instead. Let's go self-checkout, please. Modules. Now, of course, we got to be careful because they do take power after all. Having a cash smart there and a cash smart over here would be pretty, pretty uh, ideally, no? Um, maybe like right there. There we are. And then we don't have to worry about worrying about the customers. <laughs> worrying about worrying about, right? We don't have to do that. We could do all the other things now. I will do that. All righty. Very good. We have enough power to hook these bad boys up too. So everything is now starting to become automated. That's what we want. Put this into this. Thank you very much. That will go there. I'm so happy that we can finally just take care of our store here. Kind of gets me a little bit of a giddy up, I do have to say. There go refill that. Let's connect that to the grid as well. That there. Perfect. Awesome. I'll just let the store run itself in a way. You know, it's a good point. Like, they don't really have a self... And I know, like, this could be more than just a gas station. But it reminds me of a gas station. They don't have, like, self-checkouts at gas stations, do they? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so for now... What's another thing that we can do uh, with our guy? Very simple. Start refilling a few things from time to time. Yeah, you know when they are getting low, just refill it. There you go. You got the box in your hand already. Customers will be able to check out themselves. We don't have to worry about losing. We actually might not lose all of our 10 customers here. Now thinking about it. Okay, we do have a little bit of a risk here on our cozy drink. And hey, you know what? Our worker can actually take more breaks now. 
we'll tell our worker to take a break after they're done doing that. Take a break. Get that mood up a little bit more. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. Get a coffee break while you're at it, too. Why not? Take a coffee break. Yeah. There you go. Take a big overview of this. See how this is going. This is fine. This is fine. Fine. I don't think these... Re oh, those do. Okay, yeah. Those do need repair. Okay, got it. Uh, that's good. That's good. Uh, eh. Oh. Yeah, we'll refill that. Refill that. Refill that. And okay, there we go. No premium customer yet. Maybe they'll come in to like 1500 I feel like that's really late if a premium customer is going to come in. You think they would have already came in by now? Refill that. Good. I'm so happy that we can like now finally keep on top of things here. For sure. Feels good. Feels good not to have like to worry about sitting at the register the whole time. Refill that. Plus, I mean, look at our guy. Now he's like, nah, I don't have to work as much. <laughs> we'll repair this. Make sure these things are repaired at all times. Of course, of course. And then this one over here should probably be, yeah, being used. Yeah, this one is being used. I'm going to do that. We've had two people. We've had some more people even leave. I think it's more of a vending machine thing. There's another person leaving. Yeah, it's a vending machine thing. I, I don't know if we have enough vending machines. Uh, personally, we might need to build another one off over here or something. And that's all right. Let's do that. Let's build another vending machine over here. Let's go help yourself off in this direction. Place one there, and then we will uh, build that. Go. As we repair that, we have one left. We cannot risk it, but I mean, it, I mean, I, I don't know. I. I think if I were to start this day over with my cash registers, like my smart tech, I think I'd be able to pass this, no problem. Uh, let's open up the grid here. And this takes uh, leaves, toilet, to there, to there, to there. There we go. Wonderful. That's working. And then what's going on over here? Why is this? This needs more repair to it. Here we go. Refill that shelf. Repair our coffee station. Hey, we actually completed it. Very good. We were one shy from not completing it, but we did end up completing it. So our efficiency should definitely go up. Customers came to the station today. It was up by 31. Uh, module, modulars rating is excellent because now we can finally focus on them and uh, make sure they are up and running and continuing to be up and running and refilling them when we, they need to be re refilled. Awesome. Gives us a little bit of a level up there, which gives us two tech points, a new app flap future and then a training session for your clerk oh very good so there's a training session now unlocked next reward will be decoration props a new document and three points all together cool no premium customer that day either all right no premium customer okay okie dokie start of november 28th we are coming in the end of november very quickly documents memos oh god here goes the ai Ryan Rosewater. I asked Niar what it's like where they are. Niar said it's just a dark room. Like it's lighter when we connect. But otherwise, it's just an empty space they can fill with their thoughts. Retrieve memory, display artworks, canvas, play music, like a huge internet page, I guess. But instead of being a search bar in a white space, it's just darkness you need to fill. No wonder, no wonder they kept asking me for recommendations. Music, art, books, to fill this void. We live like this is this because we decided to not connect to them together that's it uh together that it's dark and lonely is this because we decided to not connect them together that it's dark and lonely i don't understand anything about the engineer's decision this is not my role but honestly it feels wrong notices on the cash smart uh following numerous complaints from upper management and to keep clerks from unionizing their r d department is pleased to introduce an automatic cash register that will allow clients to check out quickly and easily please note that the answer to the joke about the number of cashiers it takes to hate a cash register has not changed it's still 0.18 cashiers simple math that's just the way it is all complaints and remarks about faulty cash smarts will come from this 0.18 <laughs> All right, good. Uh, sounds good to me. 
plant hive into training yes so efficiency training so the training uh this training will give your clerk the retail experience perk quicker at tending cash register speed bigger action q plus one slot oh so you can queue up more very very cool but we don't really need i don't think quicker tending cash register speed since we're not really using uh cash registers anymore we'll buy that of course we will buy that obviously we want the other perk at least to go along with it take out the check tree uh, tech tree here see what we can bring in for tomorrow two micro resto fruity juice and micro desk modular offering customers a wide range of micro tasks completing the reward customer with uh with points accepted in every iLife station i think a fruity juice let's go fruity juice we have coffee let's do fruity juice there we go let's go to the next day our tarot cards today will be the moon build four modules f and the sun finish the day with a positive corporation evaluation which i believe i could do let's double down and temperance install three items or modules in the staff office room good i think we can complete all these tasks four modules seems pretty pretty intense though right oh i see some geysers over there so we can at least install them over there i mean hell because you know we don't have to worry about cash register Okay, let's go ahead and pop. What the heck are you doing outside? Come back inside. Uh, yeah, fill that up. So now that we have an extra Q slot, that's good to know. We will build um, a fruity juice. Yes, we will build a fruity juice. And the fruity juice will go right there. Build that. We will also get another geo pump rolling. Probably multiple geo pumps rolling. There we go. We'll get two more uh, geo. Well, I guess three more geo pumps. There we go. And then we will put stuff in here that we need. Switch to items. We'll put like a mop bucket because I'm sure we'll probably need that, right? Yeah. Put in a mop bucket. Uh, put in a. Put in our own trash bin, right? There's our own trash bin. Put in some more boxes because we just haven't unloaded some of the boxes that we have, right? Put in a sign for the mop bucket in case we need to use that. There we go. So that's done. Finish the day. Build four modules. Uh, so then we got that. Okay, let's go here. We will queue up that. Queue up that. Queue up that. And then queue up that. That should be our max now at five. That's kind of helpful. We'll go forward here. Absolutely. There we go. Okay, we'll wait to uh, connect that. Okay, actually, we won't. We'll do it now. So the fruity juice, what does the fruity juice take? The fruity juice takes leaves. Okay, Doki takes leaves. Interesting. And the thing that produces the leaves is our toilet. So we're going to need to build another toilet in order to do that. So let's go into the shop mode here. And let's switch back to the modules, and we will get a, another smart toilet. And we'll have it on this side of the facility now, if we can. Put it, like, right there. Perfect. We will add that to the build queue. There we go. Because I guess maybe what happens is, is we... People use a smart toilet, and then we feed them whatever we feed them through juices or, like... The vending machines or whatever it might be we will then connect this toilet and then we will connect that toilet to the juices and connect that power to the juices as well there we go perfect all righty four modules built installed items good uh have a positive evaluation today which should be fairly easy let's not refill that let's repair that yeah, it should be free. What the heck? That customer just like walked through the back store or back of the thing there, like the back room. I have done that. Wow, look at this though. Pause it right here. Look at us. I This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I always, like I said, this game looks really cool. The art style here is nice for sure. And we're just kind of waiting on... Oh, I guess this needs to be repaired. Let's go ahead and repair that. 
Registers need to be repaired too. We'll add those to the queue. We'll let today go by. This probably might be, if not one of or the best days we've ever had in business as far as like efficiency goes. Is three self checkout machines uh, enough? That's the real question. I feel like it is. I feel like right now it definitely is. Repair this, repair the bathrooms. See if we can get ourselves a nice, uh, a nice premium customer in today too. Maybe if we do, it would have to do with the juices that we just brought in, the juice modular. Who knows? I have a feeling that some of the things you do get in this game or some of the things you build in this game do trigger uh, these uh, premium customers to come. We do have a little bit of mood. We can tell our person to take a break. Let's take, tell our guy to take a break. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. 4.8 out of 5 today. That's That's a good day. That's a very good day. Juice machine is working well. Start repairing that. Really lucked out with our guy now. I mean, we lost our first employee. But we then traded our from our first employee. We then traded our employee for this employee, which is just good at repairing. Like good repair speed. That just makes things super, super efficient, I feel like. And this is the end of the night. There we go. Apparently, I didn't finish it with a with a acceptable, acceptable, uh, acceptable evaluation of some sort, right? Yeah, that sucks. I thought I did a good job. <laughs> Failed to finish the day with a positive corporate evaluation. I mean, I four point seven out of five. I it may all right. I guess not. So be it. Yeah, so be it. Next reward, decoration props, new document, and three more tech points as well. Good to see. We didn't get that, obviously, but we will get it here soon. We will get it here soon. See if anything new popped up here. November 29th. Almost December. Uh, new documents for today. Notices. So notices, the fruity juice. Fruity juice is now available at your station. This project was certainly one of our most delicious as every test in variability. Wait, uh, this project was certainly one of our most delicious as every test invariably ended in a shower of cocktails and fresh squeezed juices. Important reminder, please do not include apple in the fruit juice you give your clients. Fresh squeezed juice with apple in this in hit in is fresh squeeze app. What the fr fresh squeezed juice with apple in is just disappointing in is that's such such a weird way to say that um an exercise or two because juice is actually pretty high calorie oh okay very well nice all right so nothing on the tech tree there right yeah nothing on the tech tree everything kind of like samey samey that's fine cool let's move on to the next day that will give us the tower finish the day with no work incident i think we could probably do that and build four modules I'm running out of space and I'm running out of things to build with the modules. It's like the game kind of like forces you your hand in a way like, hey, you must build this. Kind of, I guess if you want. I mean, you don't have to do those challenges, of course, but I do like to do what I'm told for the most part. OK, so if we wanted to bring in more uh, more modules, what are we looking at here? We're possibly looking at a flat eye. Maybe another flat eye. I mean, we have two. Maybe two might be too much for now. Dare I say another coffee machine? You know what? Another coffee machine wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's do another coffee machine. We'll build a coffee machine next to the juice machine there. And maybe even throw in another register here. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. That's two modules. Um, and then we can build in like a large shelf. Maybe right there next to that one. And then one more large shelf. Where is it? Maybe a couple more just because. Well, no, I won't do it just because. We'll put one like right there. Good. Okay. End that. Add that to the queue. Build that. Build that. Build that. And build that. And onward. Onward. 
Okay. I'm sorry, did I not tell you to build that? Build that, please. And then I will connect this. Cozy Drinks needs just... Oh, Cozy Drinks needs more of that, too. Okay, we'll go Cash Smart here. Push that in. Um... Yeah, Cozy Drinks needs a little bit more. So we might need to get another bathroom to supply the Cozy Drink. I don't know. I feel like having four bathrooms would be, like, a little too much, maybe. Out of curiosity, now that we've completed this, like, build four modules, what if I said, you know what, I don't want that. Can I delete that and that still will be okay? Let's see. Yeah, it's still there. Okay, cool. So it's still there. So I can just get rid of that and be like, you know what? Nah. I changed my mind. Finish today with no work incidents. Should be fine. We should be able to do that. Let's go ahead and refill a few things here, shall we? Build up our 5Q here. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, slow it down. Yeah, yeah. Slow it down real quick. Let's see. There. There. There, 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 and the fifth one. Do a little TLC. Make sure that this is all good to go. Refill that. Um, refill that. And oh, 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 missed the middle piece here. Let's do that one too. And I think we should be able to go through this with no incident at all. And be able to rank up easily. Easily today. I think, what, we need to rank 9, rank 10 after today? And our clerk's mood is in a very good mood, so... Let's give them a break and even give them a better mood. How are these doing out here? Are these doing fine? These pumps? I guess they could be worked on a little bit. Wouldn't it hurt, right? No risk at all for uh, working on them right now. There we go. Let's make sure that we have that all up and going fine. What about this one over here? That's fine as well. Guess we could do that. Make sure everything is taken care of. Nice. Yep. Happy with that. Got our geek out there. I think that's what it is. I think the trait is actually called geek when they want to um, or when they build or they repair faster, faster speed. There we go. Good job. We shouldn't have no incidents today. I could have... You could argue that I could have doubled down for sure today, but... The fact that I finished yesterday with like a 4.6 out of 5 happy rating, and they're like, no thank you, is a little... You know. Yeah. I still don't understand what this is. Test an innovative technology on a guinea pig, on an ideal guinea pig. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I, I really don't know what that means. There's no context there at all. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Take me back. So I'm hoping what it is is something in a tech tree. Uh, I will unlock something that I can test or something rather people can be tested on or something. Uh, as a guinea pig, like maybe the micro desk modular. That will be like something guinea pig-ish to test. Maybe that's the thing I go for next is the mic micro desk. I have no idea. Don't know what it's actually asking for. Okay, this has a high risk. Okay, we actually might not get away with this. <laughs> Uh-oh. We actually might have an issue today. Let's see. Hopefully no issues. Yep. Well, it looked good there for a sec, but we did have an issue. We must shut down the store. Pay $500 for the fee. Yeah. It's, I mean, we have a lot of money. I'm not too upset about it. It's fine. And it's like four and a half stars. Not like we uh, lost it all there. I guess four stars there. That gives us decoration props. So more decoration added to us. That's really good. And a new document with three tech points as well. Three tech points. That's actually pretty big. New conversations have been locked too. So let's take a look at that, shall we? New decorations. What kind of decorations? I want to see. I want to see the different decorations, of course. November 30th, the last day of November. Right? Birch uh, with Rami. Who's Rami? Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to meet you. 
I am so pleased to be your new CEO and to be a member of the Vast Eye Life family. We have a new CEO. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I love stag hunting and polo. I'm a huge running fan, and whenever I'm at home in England, I start out my day with a jog around the grounds. And let me tell you, 22 kilometers every morning is quite an eye-opener. That's it for me, then. Don't hesitate to message me. Uh, 22 kilometers every morning? Dot, dot, dot. It's important to stay in shape. I don't believe him. After all, I spend my days in lunch meetings and at dinner parties. What a bore. Sometimes I wish I had your job. Really? Well, uh, pleased to meet you, I guess. Dot, dot, dot. Likewise. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure speaking with you. And then Alfie gave us a message here. I guess. Did we, did we not see this? Oh, whoa. Wait, Alfie says, whoa. Wait, no, wait. It did show up, but I guess Alfie is good. Yeah, all right. Alfie's fine. I don't know why that showed up as a, as a thing there. Okay, let's take a look at more of this. Another transcript, which we haven't gone through all these transcripts at all. Uh, Birch, question mark, Alfie. And then there's a bug here. I think Alfie wants to say something to us, but Alfie uh, is not saying anything to us. Yeah, Alfie's not saying anything to us. That's all right. Okay, tech tree though. Let's go to our tech tree and let's see. I'm really certain that I guess us testing something on someone, modular even, even getting a doctor booth, medical services managed by your our AI driven uh, system, painless isn't too bad. Uh, like that, that kind of screams guinea pig to me. Maybe I don't know. Uh, micro rest resto, modular offering uh, cosmetics. Comestible food to customers. Each dish is prepared instantly. Uh, I, I think... Yeah, I think micro desk. We'll go micro desk. And see what happens there. Micro desk. Now, do we get notices on that? We do. Micro desk for in-house use only. As of today, the micro desk module is available at your station. The device is based on a simple idea. What if our customers worked for us? In fact, that's what the marketing brief that gave uh, rise to the project. Um, a chair, a computer, simple tasks that anyone can easily complete on their lunch break. Audio file transcription, entering information into a database, accounting, image analysts, uh, drafting hateful comments on our rivals' websites. Just kidding. And so much more. Thankless, boring tasks that humans can do at a lower cost uh, than super powerful artificial intelligence. So our customers can do all these things at our micro desks. And in exchange, they'll receive credits they can use to make purchases at our stations. So win-win. P.S. Please make sure uh, that the people using Microdesk are over 18. Some of the image analysts work involves porno pornography and or violence. Very well. Interesting. Well, that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode of a Flat Eye. If you want to see more, hit the like button. I'll bring you some more Flat Eye. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. And I will see you all in the next one. Do take care.